Holy crap, he gets faster and faster as he gets hungry! Oh my god! Ooh, ooh. No, get away, get away, get away! Oh, holy crap! Come on, no, 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 no. Holy crap, Oz. What do you mean? Uh, no. A one and a two and a one, two, three. Hey everyone, Zaflik here, and welcome back to another episode of The Upturned. Last episode, I had to go through a lot of um, dark spaces and fed my this my little uh, I forgot his name, Shrimp, Shrimp, some pizza and everything. This is a trap. Okay, no, it's not. Oh, what? What's wrong? Are you hungry? What's wrong? No, what are you doing? N no, come on. No, come on. No. Is there something wrong? I hear boss music. What? Um, yes. What? I can't hear you. Hello? Say, is shrimp getting hungry? Yes. I can't hear you. Did you say yes? Just throw stuff in his mouth. His diet is very flexible. He'll eat anything. Shrimp, stop, halt, yield. Okay. Come on, come on. I. You, you, oh my goodness. Have a plant. the hell oh my gosh I can literally feed you anything oh my goodness you are a hungry boy come on shrimp keep, keep uh, I will feed you everything the boys eat food here have a uh, mop bucket Would you like some glass glass must be tasty oh how about this one? Okay, I was kind of worried that he was going to eat me, but he just wants food, so... He'll either be... No. I'm trying to hit them. I will feed you bird. Ah. Here. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I kind of... Part of me wants... To... Here, have bird. Why are you hungry already? Have a door. Holy crap, I have to really feed you, huh? Maybe you'll eat a fridge? Have a fridge. Wow, you are hungry, boy. Okay. Lots of plates. Maybe you'll eat some trash. This, is there something up this way? Whoops. Keep hitting that. Okay, mop buckets. Wait, maybe you could use a mop here. Maybe clean that the inside of your mouth while you're at it. Have a teapot. Anything here? Not really, but you know, I want you to eat this. Oh, very interesting. So yeah, he could just eat whatever the hell he wants, and it's gonna be no problem. I just gotta make sure he eats it. Come on, shrimp. No. No, don't do that to me. No, don't do that. How are you still hungry? After all that. Come on. That. Keep eating, keep eating, keep eating, keep eating. Holy crap, my guy. Seriously? glass. Wow, you eat. You eat like crazy, my guy. And part of me is curious as to what would happen if I let you bite me. Wow, you... You're a weird, little guy. Come on. Come on. Don't be like this. I know you like me. We've been good together. That's why you followed me, right? You didn't just keep me around as a potential food, right? Come on. What about all the good times we had? 
about all the good times that we had? Holy crap, do you get faster? Okay. Come on, don't do this. Oh. Oh crap, I thought. Here, have a rubber ducky, have a door. Have that. Whoa, you can surely eat that. That's crazy. Okay, figure out. No. Holy crap, he's eating the entire room. Is that why the entire world is empty? No, oh, don't eat me. Don't eat me now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Some trash. Have another this bucket right here. Where the hell is it? Come here, have your donut. Okay, I found a path. Oh my gosh, why is he so hungry? There's exits that way. Come on. Where the hell am I? Here, ha read some books. I hear there's a lot of good knowledge there. You might find something of... Interesting. Not expecting that money. Maybe you'd like a TV too? Have a TV? Some music? Some plates? Come on, really? Holy crap, why are you so adamant right now? Here, maybe you'd like some vegetables. <laughs> what? No vegetable in there? Come on. Come on, good boy, good boy. Alright, okay, we're good here, we're good here. Don't eat me now. Oh, I hope he's not fast. Okay. We're getting faster and faster. Holy crap, he gets faster and faster as he gets hungry! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! That was scary as hell. Holy crap, shrimp. I liked you a lot. Now you're freaking me out. Okay, 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 okay. Come in here. I'll give you some more food. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, it is it is kind of calming you down, but not in the way that we would like. Holy. Oh my god, is the music playing still inside your stomach? I just freaking noticed. <laughs> Wow, okay, my own portable beatbox, uh, boombox, that's great. I should feed you more stuff, man. Come on. See, I need to, so I need to stay near him. Make sure that he eats. As, as I go through the long paths. Okay, why are you such a scary boy? Come on. Come here. Because if I don't feed him, he gets scarier and scarier. Okay, okay, okay. I just need to find an entrance. For the right path. Okay, am I going the right way? I have no idea. I'm actually kind of lost right now. No. The this is not the, exactly the way that I want to be going. Why can't I feed you everything that I need to feed you? Okay. Oh, what the hell? Am I going the right way now? I have no idea. I don't know anymore. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, here you go, here you go, here you go. Come on. Use your doors. So I think I was going the right way to begin with. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I guess I'm not going the wrong way, necessarily the wrong way. I thought I was going the right way. 
Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Did you do that? Did you do that? Where am I going? That's wrong. What? What? Okay. Are you full? You're good? You're not hungry? Okay, that was weird. I was not expecting him to turn into a, the monster that would kill me. But I guess once he's hungry, he doesn't see anything but food. Why? Yes, I agree. Why, shrimp? I loved you. Please don't tell me it's because of those two times I threw, like, pizza boxes on your face. Uh. Sir, don't be sad. Shrimp didn't hate you. Did, he didn't? He was just hungry. Uh, yeah. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, hey! What the? Opening for the Come on, open it quit sooner. What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell is this? What on earth is that? No. No, this is bull. Crap. Stay away from me, please. Holy crap. Nope. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Okay, I got the key. Okay, there's things in here. But it's super dangerous, whatever's in here. Okay. Whatever this is. I don't know what this is. Did anything follow me? Okay. Oh, no. That thing's following me. That's great. Uh, mannequins everywhere. The mannequin that- Oh my god, oh my god. Please don't break. Please don't break. No, don't break! Crap. What the hell, man? When did it get this so hard? That's- uh, The game, I mean. Not me. Let's go. Holy crap, this is chaos. No. Huh. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't get to touch me like that. Ouch. No. Okay. I guess I don't want to get the chocolate right now. I'm not about to get the chocolate. Ouch. Hey, bird. Oh my god, stop. I just walked! Holy crap, this is gonna be a long level. Like that, jump up, jump up, jump up. Okay. I think I just need to jump a little more. I feel like I need to get those chocolates. I don't know why. Dang it. Okay, hold on. Really? Please land on the other side. Good, okay. No, no. Oh my god! I'm sorry, how is that fair? What on earth? is going on oh let's just get out of here i'm only nine floors away it shouldn't be this difficult just to get back to my i mean get to my designated room oh Egabod, why did why did you do this to me just why ouch 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 oh this med kit's right here okay that's good i'm all good I'm surprised the thing didn't come at me though why didn't it come at me? Don't they usually do come at me? Okay, I was expecting to take one of those to break, but none of them did. What the hell's going on here? Got a disco ball? It's a balloon. Oh, I hear. Ch I hear. Okay, I guess I. Gotta...
I mean, I guess I bring the boxes and I bring it up here. I mean, what else do I do? Okay. Interesting. Ah, crap, really? Alright, come on. It's that one box right over there. Oh, I missed. Ah, I freaking knew it! That should not have counted. I freaking knew it! What the hell? Freaking eat these, man. Are you dead yet? Yes, he's dead. Oh my god. Okay. Now what? No, none of you. Woo! Woo! T2. Please tell me. No. Oh, they're never real. I'm trying to hear for a chocolate or something somewhere. Holy crap! Oh, no, come on! No, no. Oh, what the hell? You followed me all the way here. Oh my god, this level's chaos. Oh, oh, no, get away, get away, get away. Oh, holy crap. Oh. Holy crap. What do you mean 154? Yeah, cool, great. An unlocked level floor, whatever. J for what? For what the gel is going on? Holy japes. Jet me out of here. Uh, come on. Holy crap, I stayed at 133 for very long. We can open the doors. Oh, what do you mean? What's going on? Sir? Yes? Remember big boy, the Mega Duke we built to splinter the meteor before it hit the Earth? Yep. Ah, because you were alive back then. I keep forgetting what this is all for to find out how you died. Yes. Still, I'll tell you how it all occurred, as you may know, not know the details. Big Boy was entering its finishing stages. The human race was preparing to launch quadruple checking all the systems were ready. And a massive solar flare hit the Earth directly from the sun. It jammed all our electronic satellites, began to plummet from the sky in droves like falling stars. A chunk of metal debris which had been floating in space for 60 years finally fell back to Earth. And it had just happened to land on our mega nuclear power plant. And it exploded. Why? No, of course not. Big Boy was protected from some falling trash. Ah, uh, the human race isn't that dumb. Okay. Still, this caused a system explosion in one of our nuclear plants, leading to a meltdown. However, this was quickly expertly put under control in 15 minutes flat. By thousands of professionals all working in tandem. No lives lost, so no damage done. So? Then at nearly at the same time, an unprecedented volcano eruption and earthquake occurred, but that didn't actually destroy the... Sir, do you think that's what killed you? Nope. Sir! That earthquake alone was the greatest disaster we had ever known. It was a Category 12. You don't think you could have just dozed off? You don't think you could have just dozed off? Uh, It's not even possible. Well, I guess it is now. Anyways, after that, coincidentally, our planet was hit by an intense concentrated gamma ray burst from a distant star. Coincidentally. So, remember what I said about luck. Good luck can't last forever. Unless you're really lucky. I almost thought we were. The, then the gamma ray burst tore a hole in our atmosphere. Our planet in this sun's radiation, like a bald man taking his hat off at the beach. Wanna know what happens next? Yes. Big boy explodes. Whoa. The earth was nearly cracked in two. The skies were blotted out by poisonous photos, chemical smog. How did you know that? Who wrote that? Who would write that? It definitely wasn't the humans that wrote that because they're dead. Um, by poisonous chemical smog, giant endless firestorms raged even across the Pacific at the Atlantic. There were a few deaths. Only a few? Sir, that must be what killed you. 
No. <laughs> Sir, you must be pulling my legs. I live. Both of them? <laughs> you must really be indestructible, but then how did you get to the afterlife? Anyway, I guess this explains why no one else has visited the upturn in since you walked in. I think my job at the front desk might be over. It looks like I have a countable number of pages left to read of the history of the universe. I think it's funny to hold that in my hands. It's funny. Sir, since we don't have much time left, would you like to hear the story of my death? How did you die? Okay, buckle up. It's story time. Ahem. So I was a handsome teen, strapping lad in my prime of life. I had been a party thrown by a friend who lived alone up in the mountain in his father's mansion down the road behind our school. Hardly anyone came but me and my other friend. It was great. Was no one else invited? Everyone was invited, but... There was this rumor in town of a possessed trucker that circled around that mountain. He was said to be looking for... Um... Ted? Yes, actually, now I remember. We called him the Headless Trucker. Such an original idea. I've never heard of it anywhere else. I was scared of the stories, but I had gone up there many times to see my friend, and he wasn't afraid of the mountain. You couldn't be if you lived up there. I got a ride home from my dad that night. He drove so fast I always hold on to my seat. There was a fog and our old Jalopy's headlights barely worked. We got halfway down the mountain. That was when he kicked me out. Why? That's not important to the story. It kinda is. I've forgotten him for it now. I've forgiven him for it now. Actually, I think I would have thanked him for it. Anyway, I could barely see. And my breath hung in the air. Did I mention it was winter? I spent an eternity walking down that mountain in the pitch dark. I thought about a lot of things. Well, mostly about a crush I had on someone that I hadn't told yet. And I got to see the stars in full force in the lonely night sky. At some point, nearly blind in the dark. I stumbled off the road and caught a perfect view of the tar town through a clearing in the tree. From up here, it was a glimmering painting. The mountain was so steep, I could lie down and watch the stars and see my town all at once. I could have lain there forever. Then the dark clouds rolled in. I was about to get soaked. Sorry, I might be a bit too close. I just want to make sure that my voice is heard. So I got up and started running down the road. When I was almost off the slope of the mountain, two lights burst into, into view and raced towards me. I was blinded. A rusty semi-truck pulled up beside me. The door lurched open and I saw the barrel of a shotgun. But it was dark in the driver's seat. Shadowed from the moon, I heard a voice. It said... Stick him up. Yes, it growled. Stick him up. I was already pale and trembling from the bitter cold, but now I was pale and trembling. Double. It was beginning to rain and a crazy wind was picking up. Turning this way and that, gathering up the pine needles of the, off the road and tossing them into my face. So what do you think I did, Mr. Dobb? Put your hands up. Doesn't matter. Just then, a giant pine fell and crushed me into one dimension. Whoa. You got crushed by a tree? Yep. That tree turned me into an ick pancake. And that's the story of my death. Ick a bod. Ick a body. Hmm. Is that. Okay. I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine, sir. I would never have gotten to this build, this, to, to, to build this wondrous hotel if I was still alive. Anyway, that's how my life ended. I hope you liked the story. It was a nice story. Your luxury seat, suit suite in 1434, just one down from here. I am literally one floor away. Is that so? Let me just have a quick look. Wow, actually. This might be the end. This is the last floor. I don't know what to expect out of this. 
other chalk. Oh, I hate you. You're gonna come at me, aren't you? Oh, something down here. How do I get down there, I wonder? There's no crutch button, right? Now. Alright, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. I don't want to grab that yet. Sir, wait! Uh, what? You know what happens every time you grab the fuse? All hell breaks loose. And I have a bad feeling about this floor. Has anything attacked you yet? Nope. See, it's all going to happen when you grab the fuse. I suggest you look around for anything else you could use to protect yourself. Or, maybe nothing will break through that suspiciously cracked wall and I will run, scream, run! Like a squeaky toy! That would be unexpected, wouldn't it? But it's better to be safe and sorry, or, uh, something like that. Okay. Um. More mannequins. Holy crap. Holy crap, so many mannequins. Okay, okay, I broke it. This is not what I was expecting to happen, but it also makes sense. Come on, keep coming this way. Keep coming this way. <laughs> I shall defeat thee. Go, 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 go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I have no problem with this. I have good. What the? What is going on? Okay. That's real nice. Okay. Go, 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 No, no. Grab that. Leave me alone. Come on. No, 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 no. Holy crap, Oz. What do you mean? Uh, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are you trying so hard to get me? I'm so glad he's dead. <laughs> Look what I'm- I'm glad. Good. Good. Glad he's dead. He likes smacking my tush way too much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at him. Oh, he's also dead. Oh, boo -hoo. Sir? Yes? I was going to read about how why you died on my own, but I wanted to read it with you. There are not many pages left. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. <clears throat> Here we go. It looks like humanity was prepared even for the explosion of Big Boy. For just this scenario, we had already spent past 30 years. Constructing gi a gigantic, constructing gigantic city-sized networks of secure underground bunkers, and we'd stockpiled enough food to fill our bellies for a whole year. So it mentions you here. It says you were on the front lines organizing the evacuation, Mr. Zadop. That's you. It says here there were still four billion left alive on planet Earth. Maybe. This is the end of us. Three months passed, humanity began to rebuild Big Boy, still racing against time to stop that mega meteor, which would arrive in one year then. Alarms rang out as hungry life forms began to invade the biggest city bungers. We called these outsiders. In the fallout of Big Boy, packs of irradi irradiated wild boars had biologically linked to form large amalgam creatures. Like if you turned a bunch of pigs into a soup, and that pig soup sprouted legs and arms and started attacking you with the force of rage of a dozen pigs blended into one. Oi, that's one thing to, you know, look at, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Pigs. Yep. Um, what? 
These monsters were capable of breaking into less secure bunkers and stealing the most vulnerable while they slept. Huh. Wrenching them up into darkness outside before anyone knew it. A large percentage of the population was picked off by the outsiders. As sickness and panic spread throughout the underground bunker networks. Sir, do you think you could have been eaten by one of the outsiders? Before you died, did you hear a monster squeal? Do you feel a cold presence? Was there a smell of rotten pork? No. Well, anyways, then a super-sized meteor hit a year ahead of schedule. The whole time, there was another meteor coming from the other direction. But we never saw it coming. We were too distracted by the first one. Sir, do you think maybe you were killed in the impact? No. Wow, you're a fighter. Well then, it says Earth was split into three pieces, one with which flew straight into the sun within about ten minutes. What about that, Mr. Dobb? Before you died, did you feel your skin melting your bones like a snowman? A snowman with bones? No. Then there was only a handful of the human race left alive. Ah, it says your name here again. There are, there are you, one of nine humans left alive. Just a team of scientists holding on out in a seed vault deep underneath a mountain. And one man taking cover in his bunker home. Holding in a, in a, seed, vault, in a seed vault deep underneath the mountain. Okay. And one man taking cover in his bunker. You held out for a whole year alone, then. And then... What? Tell me. And you died. You want me to... Do you want me to tell you? Uh... I tripped and fell. No, none of those. It was... Spontaneous combustion. Sorry, sir. While you slept, you caught on fire at the whim of a chemistry and chance. But hey! On the bright side, you didn't do anything wrong. Wait, does that make it better? I'm sorry, Mr. Dobb. I guess your death was just as lousy as mine. Warm my hands. Brown. I have to tell you. Can't hear you. Sir, I think we're losing connection. The storm is blustering again, and you're too far down. Before you go, I have to ask say something quickly. What? I can't hear him. Sir! I don't know, I'm just carrying this big dude's head with me. <laughs> I'm on my floor. I don't think it's the end of the game, but... It's my room, is it? Whoa. What's happening? I bet he actually hasn't made that floor, that room yet. Well, okay, what's in it? Is it just an empty... <sighs> I came all the way here just for this. What the hell? Is this what was supposed to happen? I'm just stuck here now, watching TV? Hello, hello. Who are you? I am Mr. Sob, the constructor. The manager, the producer, the supplier. Hmm. Ick built the hotel. That Mr. Ickbold is merely my representative. He made the upturned in a reality, and I turned it into a dream. I promised his safety. I promised to make his hotel last forever. All that in exchange for ownership. You lied to me? Now this hotel is mine to grow into infinity. Like a weed's root taking a hold of the earth. There will always be vacancy. Every room will be someone's tomb, and the hotel's capacity without limit. Hello, hello. Uh, this is a death trap. Please don't feign surprise. You found that this hotel in the afterlife wasn't heaven, but you descended anyway. 
You have always held a reservation deep down here. Everyone makes their own. I am merely fulfilling what your heart demands. You want rest from the storm? Rest from all this chaos and wind? And there's no shelter from the weather but down here. Yes, down here you're safe from chance. Chance which threw down all your victories. Well, threw down all your victories, which sent you three cosmic disasters like they were another postcard. Random chance burnt you to a crisp for all the good you've done. There's nothing else to blame. Here you'll have no chance when I crush and burn you into little dancing embers. Just like you, you'll have no chance. I'll leave it up to you. Would you like to be shaped into a mouth with arms? Or a giant slug? Or an angry cow? Would you like to be melted into a beautiful pane of glass? That's what you do to guess? That won't happen. Oh yeah, make me a pane of glass? No, you're a demon. Yes, every guest that's arrived here was normal, intelligent. Capable of speech. Bah, that's boring. I made them unique. I'm gonna burn and smash you in embers and make them dance. Are you ready? This feels familiar, Mr. Doc. Hmm. Okay. How interesting. I noticed this is the one thing that's just not. Holy crap. What's happening? Oh. What is happening in there? My fire cannons have malfunctioned. Okay. That's convenient. Oh, what the? Hello? No, what is this? Is that storm, that cursed storm? Okay, can you let me out? Oh, what the? Shrimp? Please tell me you're here to save me. Oh, shrimp, am I happy to see you. Shrimp? Where'd you go? Oh, I am tired. Holy crap. Come back. What do you mean, come back? You can only lock me in there if... Wait, why, why can't you put me in there? All roads lead back here. Do they? I don't think so. Uh, this one clearly leads away from it. Don't press those buttons. The fact that all you can do is just tell me not to tells me some other thing. Oh, back to the first floor. Hopefully this works. Wait, where'd it, where'd it go? Whoa. You know I have your best interests in mind, sir. I'm not some kind of monster. I use your first name because I'm a friend. Mr. Ichabod never used your first name. Your room is better than whatever you'll find out there. You're not going to listen, are you? Nope. I could never kill you, but I could pound you into almost nothing. I can never treat them fully. I can feel the storm. Why can I feel the storm? Maybe the storm's a living creature. I thought if I went down far enough, I'd be free from it. I could stay still. But that thunder rumbles down through all these floors like the cold chills of bone. I, I can never treat them fully. No one really dies in the afterlife. 
I could never close their eyes. I could mash them into dust, but then those BT white pearls always remain. Whoa. They're indestructible. Death is a big scab. I can never die. I can never be safe. It wants me like I want it. The store wants to gain our trust to lead us outside. Then leave us lost and afraid. We can never be safe. Not from ourselves. Not when we lust forever. We're all but the cosmic drone. There's no punchline. There's no end. Why do you care so bad, that much about that? Ichabod? Ichabod, where are you? Holy crap, this place is trashed, huh? Are you up here by any chance, Ichabod? Oh, what the? Can't even sprint or anything like that? Ichabod, where are you? Okay, I guess I'll just go back down here. I guess I try to go out the window? Nope. Oh, it's letting me jump out. Interesting. Why is it letting me jump out? All right, I think that's the state. That's that's. Well, we'll see. I want to see what else there is. Well, do I just go back where I came from? Is that Ichabod? Sir, is that you? Are you alive? <laughs> My room sucked. Sir, I'm sorry I tried to tell you about Mr. Saab, but I won't wait it too long, and we lost connection. His name is Mr. Saab. Wait, did he say that? He mentioned that earlier, didn't he? He's the real owner of the hotel now. I gave it all up a long time ago. That was a mistake, but I don't want it now anyway. I pretend the upturned inn was a normal hotel after he turned it into some kind of death trap. He turned a blind eye, as they say. <laughs> oh. On the bright side, do you remember the friendship survey I forced you to take? Yep. Well, you passed. Congratulations, Mr. Dorp. This is a momentous occasion. Oh, oh, this is a momentous occasion. Shame. I feel my party poppers at my desk. I left my party poppers at my desk. I haven't been outside in the afterlife for some 40 years. Now I feel like a kid who ran outside to see the fireworks. I finally decided I'd rather wander out here than be in that rotten building I've lied to myself about it in about it too long. How'd you decide that? When I thought we would never speak again, sir, that was the last straw. Anyway, I finished reading the document of all history. When I got the present time, I saw the document was writing itself. The paper was growing to make up more space. I wish I could have done that on my math homework. I read about the last group of humans on that sliver of Earth. Three young scientists huddled together in a seed vault deep within a mountain. There were nine or seven. I think it was said there was nine people, a group, and then me alone. And now it's only three. No! Want to know what happened to them? I read it as it all took place. They stayed alive for a few weeks, then two of them got into an argument over who had dibs on a bag of chips, which spiraled into murder. They both died. Oh, and what about the last human alive? She stripped and hit her head. She tripped and hit her head. That's because that's what I clicked before. That's funny. Not, not how I thought the human race would go about, but I'm not sure what I'd expected. By the way, while I was reading, Shrimp snuck his way out through the elevator shaft, barked at me, and bounded through the broken window. I guess he's free now because of you. Yep. Something about that thing's eyes reminded me of the first guest that ever checked in in the upturned. What a time ago that was. I guess that's it. And we know how you, we know, we know how you and I, the human race, all came to an end. It seems like to me like the curtains closing. What with the end of all human on Earth and this sudden raging storm in the afterlife? Like this is the end of time. Mr. Dot, did you learn anything uh, from your life on Earth? Sure. I guess I learned I should believe in rumors about haunted truckers. What a hubbub. The human race did all it could, and look what it got. A bad luck sundae with a nasty cherry on top. Except, instead of vanilla ice cream, it's probably just a heap of mayonnaise or shaving cream. You're asking me? I don't think there's anyone to blame for it. Sometimes it rains and pours. 
But what do we do now that we've lost it all? Ah, the forest has gone quiet where I am. I feel like I should whisper. The sky darkened and the trees are, are all bent in one direction. It's almost like they're bowing down. Can't see you anymore. Oh, good heavens. A shadow just ran away and jumped into the bushes. Silly thing. And I feel something big approaching this way. Maybe you should run. Sir, I can barely hear you. I don't think there's any use running or hiding. I've wasted my whole life hiding. Maybe I'll just say hello. Sorry, sir. I might have to put you on hold. I think there's not much time left. Maybe there's something we don't know about. Something deeper than the upturned. Maybe it's been barring, barreling towards, barreling towards us from the beginning. When I was alive, when I was scared of the dark at night, I would watch the water heater that stood outside my bedroom door. It was towering and immovable like, like a water heater. I would listen to it gurgling and humming. I would listen to it gurgling and humming as my heart beat loud in my ears. I pretended it was a train, chugging really fast. A train that didn't need a track, bulldozing through the trees and mountains. I don't know if it helped. Well, anyway, the forest sounds like my room right now. Interesting. Maybe it's do that on purpose. Oh, that's even brighter than my collection of strobe lights. Sorry, sir. Our lines are busy at the moment. I think I'm going to have to put you on hold until next time. All right. I guess I'm going this way. I have no idea what's happening. And I don't know what to expect. But we're going to see. Oh, what the? That light went off. Can't sprint. Oh, the trees are bending. Must have been because it's super windy. Uh, that doesn't lead to anywhere. I guess I go back the way I came from, back to the train. Hmm. Spikes. Interesting. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have to avoid them, but I don't understand why this mechanic here is here specifically. But it is. Oh, well. Oh, that's grass. I for some reason thought those were spikes in the ground. Silly me. Was he talking about maybe someone by the train? And that's where he stood. It scared me a little. I don't know why. Hmm. Sorry. I'm actually falling asleep. I need to be careful because of that. Oh my goodness, I fell asleep. Whoops. <laughs> my goodness, sorry, I'm tired. I haven't slept. What the? What the? Yeah, I guess I just follow the lights. Oh, why'd it go dark? Quiet. It's not normal. I guess I'm going back to a train. Okay, more uh, artistic style of choices. Oh, what the? Holy crap. Oh, I'm, I'm not the writer? Hello? Holy crap. I thought that was me. Oh, why am I burning into flames? Wow. It's not Sob. Mr. Sob. Mr. S.O.B. What happened? Is that it? Is that everything? Caught by the morning. Hold. Skip. Hold escape or start. All right. Cool. That was the upturned. Oh, wait. What? What the hell? Oh. Hello and welcome. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? We're going to ignore that. We're done with it. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have, don't forget to, I guess, you know, flash and burn that like and subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. See ya. Woo!